We have the last two games. Uh, this one is going to be the final game for the women. The German women of Langen against the Norwegian ladies of Akaren. This is going to be also uh, a very tough game. Um, the, as I said early before, the German women have an uh, open uh, <laughs> bill with the Norwegians from the European Meisterschaft, uh, the European Cup, sorry. So let's see uh, who can win this game. Uh, it's going to be a tough game for both. Uh, so, uh, meine Damen und Herren, auf Deutsch, wir haben die langen Mädels, wir haben die offenen Rechnungen gegen Norwegen und uh, die Mädels wollen zumindest hier in der Champions Cup die Titel holen, da wir in den uh, EM leider es nicht geholt haben. Wir haben eine von den Akaren, die schon die, uh, um, das Tor geklaut hat. Akaren ist bekannt, die wollen immer die ersten zwei Minuten uh, die erste Tor machen, das Überraschungstor uh, und dann einfach daran arbeiten, de, 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 das Tor zu halten. Uh, die sind schon unter uh, das Tor, uh, uh, Langen ist schon unter Druck. Wir haben die Akaren die am Kopf von dem äh, ähm, Tor, äh, Torwart äh, gearbeitet hat, ist, ist immer noch äh, Ball, äh, äh, den Ball bei den äh, Norwegen und die sind, die gehen mit alle dran, was sie haben. Die wollen unter zwei Minuten die erste Tor machen, also lange muss jetzt wach bleiben und nicht da der, äh, der, das Torwart alleine gehen, die kann, die kommen von rechts, von links, von oben ähm, und ähm, da müssen die Mädels wirklich mithalten und wieder das Ball zurückholen und deren Spiel machen und äh, nicht zulassen, dass äh, Akaren äh, ihren Spiel macht, weil die sind richtig gefährlich. Um, okay, uh, we are seeing a great attack from the Akaren women. Nor uh, Norway won the European Championship and I believe uh, many of Akaren players are from the European Championship. They have an amazing game, they're very fast. Uh, they move the ball, they always try to achieve the first score within the uh, minute from start uh, the game and this is where they're working from. That's why we see them constantly pressuring the um, goal here of the German women if Germany needs to recover the ball because this kind of pressure uh, and this uh, with this kind of team can be paid uh, with, a, with a goal if we don't get out of there. Now we have uh, uh, Steffi that uh, recovered the ball but uh, one of the Norwegians uh, it's back on track and we have now uh, in the corner of the German side um, Okay, the ball is changing owners and uh, I can't see now who is having it. Uh, they're in the surface and uh, they're fighting. Germany recovered the ball, trying to start a counter attack uh, and uh, it's one against three, turns around. Um, they're trying to keep at least the ball and uh, keep the wave coming up. Oh, that's a pity. The uh, German player lost the ball, couldn't grab it, and the Norwegians are on top of it and swimming the counterattack. They're fast. The counterattack is their strength. You, you, you cannot allow them to swim through the pool because normally that ended up in a score. And uh, we had it already in the European Cup, so we don't want it. We have the current playing with the goalie. The goalie was. Uh, um, out uh, left of space for a minute there, but the German team did a great job recovering the ball and covering that was risky. Uh, so far, we have seen the uh, Norwegian women dominating the game. Germany has been able to leave and arrive to the Norwegian goal, but was not able to build up any pressure so far. Not like the last four minutes we have been seeing. Ball. So I was caught up a little bit in the discussions going around here in the pool. Uh, there's a lot of uh, emotion, uh, uh, like in every uh, uh, Champions Cup, and that's nothing new. But uh, I'm back in the game now and try to uh, give you an overview. I don't uh, have it tuned yet. Akaren against uh, Langen, so Akaren uh, from Norway in blue and uh, Langen uh, from Germany in white. And we have a free throw for Germany against Akaren. And uh, the Akaran team is already in defense position. And Langen is coming on the close side, but is stopped by the defense from uh, Akaren. 
This, this is a chance for uh, Langen, but uh, no pushed away. The attacker from front of the basket was pushed away. But uh, it's, uh, it's uh, uh, astonishing how close uh, the Langen players get to the basket of Akaren. And this is really dangerous because these players know how to score. And Akaren has to be careful here. Otherwise, they will catch a goal within uh, uh, the beginning of this uh, first half here. And we're playing for the first, uh, for the first place. In the exactly. Champions Cup 2017. The winner, the winner of this game is the uh, winner of the Champions Cup. Or the Kevin women got, they have this tactic where they uh, pass the ball open into the front uh, and hope that one of the players is going to be. And most of the time, an origin player is there. This time there was not. There was a recovering from the ball from the German. And they are trying to attack and create, unre to create some unrest uh, in the area of the Norwegian and we have, I think, uh, the Norwegian player got the ball but didn't That's realize she left. Yeah, it's a she free left throw the against the Karen again. <coughs> the ball was outside the play. Ah, and one well, uh, Langen player stole trying, trying to stole steal the basket away but uh, a Karen player was uh, faster. She got uh, to the basket before her. They are fast, they have a great condition and they know exactly what they are doing. They have been uh, playing very consistently throughout the whole Champions Cup, so uh, it's going to be um, a tough team to defeat. I mean, both both of them, they're both very strong teams. So we have the German player attacking from above, but not being uh, able to. Let's see. Call from the referee. Call from the referee. What's He's pointing on the white player, I guess, from Langen. Uh, yeah, it's a free there throw against holding Langen, holding, holding without ball. Holding free throw. Tiro, uh, li I'm sorry, I was changing this point. Uh, this is uh, a Freiburg for the uh, Norwegian. Um, um, jemand hat uh, gehalten uh, anscheinend. Und jetzt muss er mir schauen. Das sind genau die Sachen, die uh, Norwegen, Norwegen, richtig, Norwegerinnen. <laughs> gut ausnutzen können, wissen wir, haben wir die Verteidigung und die äh, Torwart, aber wir haben eine hintere Verteidigung, äh, nur wegen noch dem Ball und Passes und das ist direkt über den äh, Torwart versucht, in, wieder in die Ecke zu gehen, Ballkontroll und dann schon wieder von oben, das ist äh, die Lieblingsangriff, äh, die Norwegerin und die sind gut drauf und wenn das das nicht schaffen, dann machen den Pass nach unten. Uh, normalerweise gibt es immer eine rechts oder links uh, und dann kommt der Ball von unten. Also die hey Lorena, your, your uh, German is really spotless. I'm proud of you. Thank you. I, I apologize about the declinations and, and the, <laughs> and the pr um, preposition. So uh, Karin, uh, again, like Lorena just said, uh, likes to attack from above. And they're coming now from the open side. And this is uh, dangerous. If Karin is close enough uh, to the basket, uh, they uh, uh, know how to score. And if they come from above, uh, the, the offense uh, department of Langen really has to uh, be bright awake to keep them away because they know how to score from uh, attacking the goalkeeper above. We're now in the corner of the uh, close side of the uh, Langen uh, basket. And Akaren is holding on to the ball and uh, Langen is not able to get it away from them. Uh, um, I mean, um, the Germans are doing a great job uh keeping the Norwegians away, but so far there's more ball control and uh, Norway is dominating the game. They have we have been more time uh, on the German side and the Germans have been under attack more constantly than the other way around. And this could create a mistake because if you have this kind of tension and stress and uh, eventually this is how um, uh, you score actually. So hopefully uh, the German can recover the ball control, get out of the area and uh, start building up their game uh, and the wave of attacks. Otherwise, if they allow the Norwegians to have the pace, they are very fast, they create a lot of chaos on the uh, goal area and that could be very, very dangerous. So we're still uh, at the basket of Langen and uh, that's now for uh, quite a long time. It's six minutes left, uh, six minutes 17 in this first half Langen against Akaren. And uh, 
Finally, Langen uh, um, managed to get hold of the ball. They're trying to swim through on the surface. Oh, that's a dangerous thing. And we have now a situation, uh, the goalkeeper got the ball, but is uh, stopped by an current player. This could have been a dangerous situation when you throw the ball back to the goalkeeper. And he's the last person if he cannot catch that ball. Like this situation again, last player gets the ball. And if uh, the current player would have uh, had a longer arm or a chance to get the ball that would be a, a goal on the empty basket here we go Akar is again on the move and it's uh, astonishing how easy it looks for them to get hold of the ball in the four play in the four uh, uh, checking against uh, the German game and they play really like uh, blind passes they know where the players are and that's an uh, uh, attack on the head uh, on on the neck uh, of the player lying on the basket i mean we have two to three players from the regions coming onto the goalie constantly they be so far i count like three or four waves and uh, this can be really uh, very exhausting uh, if you are a goalkeeper and a defender because this kind of stress eventually if you get distracted and you don't know anymore where the ball is because it come from above and they have breaks uh, right and left and um, before they try to and thankfully the Norwegian girl on the left side of the basket was a little bit too late so they couldn't uh, pass down otherwise um, that wouldn't be a very, very risky moment for the German team. The German team need to need they need to go out of there. They're coming yeah, they now. There's a goalkeeper uh, with the Norwegian region, pass it to the next one, and they're trying to change goalies at that time, and uh, we have three Norwegians, and the next one, the, the ball, oh, the Norwegians didn't see the pass. Oh, that was a blind pass that's going in the blind. Call from the referee. What happened? Didn't see free throw uh, against uh, Karin and that's a relief see. for Langen. Langen can it's exactly be sign over the uh, Freiburg uh, outside oh. time out wide Auszeit von okay. Langen und Langen kann über diesen Freiburg sehr glücklich sein, weil sie waren jetzt äh, mindestens fünf Minuten ähm, unter konstanten Druck äh, von Akaren auf ihrem eigenen Tor und bei dem äh, Stand an äh, Rugby äh, Erfahrung und äh, Kraft, den Akaren ins Wasser bringt, wäre es tatsächlich nur eine weitere Frage von vielleicht Sekunden gewesen, ein bisschen vorgefahren wäre, weil äh, Akaren einfach äh, die, dieser konstante Druck und dieses ständige Austesten ja. nach Lücken äh, führt irgendwann dazu. Es muss ja. gar keine große Schwäche unbedingt bei Langen gewesen sein, hätte nee, nee, nee. gewesen sein müssen, sondern irgendwann ist da eine Lücke und irgendwann innerhalb dieser langen Z Druckphase ist ein Akaren-Spieler im richtigen Moment da und es fällt ein Tor. Und äh, deshalb kann äh, Langen jetzt gerade im Moment sehr glücklich über diesen Freiwurf sein, ja, der hoffentlich gegen Akaren die wurde. Äh, Vorteil daraus ziehen und äh, anfangen so eine, so, eine, so eine Welle, weil bis jetzt, die Akaren hat zehn Minuten lang ihren Spiel gespielt, das heißt, die sind eigentlich ähm, ein bisschen ausgerüttet, ausgerüttet als die Deutschen, weil du ähm, nur verteidigt und die, die, die Geschwindigkeit der Gegner äh, anpassen muss, das ist ein, wirklich eine tödliche Situation, dass das, kann, das ist schwer, das lange zu halten, ohne Fehler zu machen. Ja. Yeah. And it's uh, no question, this uh, first uh this what we see in these minutes uh, in the first half belong to Akaren look and, and they uh, had the free throw and Akaren is already yeah. uh, uh, intercepting bringing them towards their uh, half they couldn't even get out of, of the area that's such a pity because I could have been the moment where they could recover a bit and try to start uh, playing their game they cannot so far they couldn't um, play their game uh, because Akaren is doing an, an amazing job uh, in uh, disrupting it Holding, white free throw. Holding, okay. So now we have another chance for the free throw for the German team. Let's see if this time the occurrence are very good in. Oh, again, again they did it. I mean, the uh, one receiving the pass uh, took too long uh, to receive it, was not paying attention, and the Akaren player was already and okay great now the Germans intercept that the current they look like octopus they have such long arms it's amazing I mean uh, you, you see the, the the German player getting the ball and uh, the current is already um, on top of it and, and recover we are already in the German half German is trying to get out uh, that's the captain Laura Büchner trying that she's alone this is a moment which she needs a uh, one of the German women 
they need to get out of there, but uh, probably they are very exhausted. I mean, they have been very exhausted the last for 12 minutes being under pressure. So now we have the counter-attack. Great, we have three, four, Langen. Um, let's see, they're attacking from Amo. This is uh, a Heike, also very experienced. Now the next player is attacking from above. They're forcing the Norwegians also, but now they got the ball and they couldn't build a second or, well, they, they had two waves of attack and they need more than that to break the defense of the Norwegians. I would say four or five waves at least, unless it's a counter-attack, but um, the Norwegians are very fast and they are very strong in counter-attacking. Um, so we have a blind pass, as you see, to the front and there was a Norwegian getting in. This is uh, the next one there. Um, it's amazing. They are on the place where they was to be, and it's enough to bring the ball to the side of the German women to continue with the attack. One and a half minutes of this first half, and Nor Norway was 80% uh, in possession of ball. Ball possession, yeah. We uh, dürfen ja nicht vergessen, wir sehen das Spiel von den wahrscheinlich den beiden Top Teams. Uh, jetzt mal abgesehen von den Nationalmannschaften, den Top Teams, uh, den weiblichen Top Teams der Welt. Um, das ist Rugby auf einem so wahnsinnigen Niveau. Die, der kleinste Fehler würde ein Tor bringen. Und bisher habe ich beide Mannschaften keinen Fehler machen sehen. Akaren kontrolliert äh, das Spiel größtenteils, kommt aber am Tor von Langen auch nicht richtig weiter. Und Langen äh, schafft es leider zu selten, in Richtung äh, Akaren-Tor zu gehen, um da irgendwie richtig rumwühlen zu können. Wir haben jetzt ein paar Angriffe gesehen, aber Akaren ist zu erfahren als Mannschaft im Zusammenspiel, This um sich wirklich zu geben. Und äh, das, was wir jetzt hier wieder sehen, dass Akaren wieder den Druck aufs lange Tor aufbaut und dieser konstante Druck führt irgendwann zu Fehlern. Oder beziehungsweise es muss nicht mal ein Fehler sein, sondern einfach nur eine kleine Bewegung und wenn dann ein Karrenspieler im ja. richtigen Moment da ist, passiert einfach das Tor. Der Ball muss weg vom langen Tor. 30 seconds and uh, then we have the, the, Nor the Norwegians recover and they're coming one against two. The second Norwegian is coming and again as you say the first one with the ball comes from above try to disrupt the goalkeeper and pass right or left to the partner this is the normal attack from the Norwegian. there we have it again from above and then to the right and no it doesn't no, count no. it doesn't count that, that would have been a that goal have been but a goal. Uh, the goalkeeper uh, the, the referees uh, had stopped the game the signal because before. something was a, a fall yeah. or something. no goal, no goal. Um, das war kein Tor für alle, die jetzt gerade zuschauen und sich fragen, was passiert ist. Äh, der, äh, der Schiedsrichter hat abgehubt, bevor äh, das Tor gefallen ist. Und äh, dann kam die, äh, die Halbzeit, das ja. Halbzeitsignal. I, I was holding. Was Aber, holding äh, the ball. Äh, ich glaube, was, was, was wir alle jetzt gerade gesehen haben, die Situation, genau die Situation angetreten. Wenn das noch eine Minute zu spielen gewesen wäre, wäre das ein Tor gewesen. Ja. Und das war genau das, was ich meinte. Äh, die Gefährlichkeit von diesem konstanten Druck, bis irgendwann mal ein Fehler passiert. Und Langen muss es schaffen, diesen Ball weg von ihrem Tor zu bringen. So, what we just saw uh, was exactly what we predicted. This constant pressure on the goal of uh, uh, Langen caused uh, this moment when there was a possibility for Karin to score. And luckily, and I have to say it, luckily for uh, Langen, um, the 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 referee uh, gave yeah. the gave a it signal was a fall before for i think they were before. holding before uh, without the ball so that's why uh, but that's that's the, the kind of, of of game that the norwegians are able for and they're well known uh, we know it all of the girls playing from the national team know it uh, it still is very very difficult to stop uh, this kind of game i mean they're very very effective they're doing a great job and Langen is having trouble I and mean, they, they recover the ball, but it's like it takes too long for them to have someone to get the second pass and the third pass to uh, do the counter attack. And this is a, is a killer because in Norwegians, most of the time, I think so far, I've seen one wrong pass from the Norwegians where mm. they smash it, I mean, the ball into the uh, mm, uh, game, into open, the field, yeah. into the open. And uh, the Langen uh, got the, the ball because the, the, the next region was not there on time. All the rest has been uh, a spotless pass and ball control, even with the pressure that Langen was putting in the defense, because Langen have been doing a great defense. 
Absolutely. Uh, they have and been disrupting the, the, as, as good as they can. The problem is uh, they get the ball and then they are so out of breath because of the of the uh, um, anstrengung yeah, of the, the uh, exhaustion, exhaustion of the this attack for them. that they don't have the power to pull through and the few times that they get the first player out then the next are Karen and women is on top of this player and then the, the second uh, German girl is not there on time to get the, the ball to get out of there and uh, they need to change the um, in the second half, otherwise um, it's going to be difficult to keep Pap a 0-0 a, a um, oh. mark. Yep. Well, um, with this, like I said, I said it, uh, I think in German and not yet in uh, English, we see here uh, the the best teams, the best club teams in the world competing uh, against each other. and. Uh, I, I couldn't say what, what both teams uh, should change in their game apart from Langen being able to break out of this uh, constant pressure from uh, Akaren, but uh, it's, it's easy said than done because Akaren is uh, in the way they, they control the field uh, uh, really close to perfect and um, it, it is uh, Langen does a well defending job, they haven't uh, uh, had any weaknesses yet but the constant pressure is what wears you down. And this is where uh, I uh, see trouble. If uh, uh, Langen doesn't make it in the t into attack mode and go for a Karen on the Karen basket. So uh, my wolf, uh, my, my, my name is Wolf. I'm uh, with the German uh, uh, team here in Berlin with the Sporthofer team. And uh, that's my home team. And uh, with me is Lorena. She's also playing, um, uh, training at least with the Sporthaucher. And uh, me, I'm a, a licensed uh, on water rugby uh, coach and a referee, a beef referee. And Lorena is a world champion. Uh, she played with the German team in uh, Cali 2015, and they did win. And she's also a referee and also a, a, a coach. And we are two both coaching. Uh, our uh, youth team here in Berlin, we did win the Open Champion, the Open Youth Championships uh, with our U18 team. And uh, we believe in underwater rugby family. That's why we founded the Underwater Rugby Academy here so. in Berlin, connected to the Champions Cup. Let's go back into the game. Uh, last 15 minutes of the game, Akaren against Langen. Let's see what will happen if they come up with new strategies. Uh, especially Langen has to change something to go forward and to challenge uh, Karen on their goal. Uh, Karen is in we ball possession. Yeah, exactly. We have another player already underneath the goalie behind the defender and is trying to create Andres. Uh, the goalie needs to be careful here. Sh they have the shoulder in a bit of uh, inside. What is Kati uh, is playing? Uh, a goalkeeper, this is a Ria re, um, getting now in position and trying three blue against her, and she's having a bit of the shoulder that is a little bit of a gray area right now. And they need to be careful. Um, we don't want a, a, a penalty uh, against us because of a shoulder in the basket, that would be really a pity. So, uh, here we are. This is a free throw for the was for, for uh, Germany, I believe. I didn't. But Akaren is already coming from above, and um, I don't know, for me, this is a bit of a shoulder in the basket. What do you think, Bob? Or I haven't I'm seen it. Uh, sorry, I was uh, uh, thinking a little bit <laughs> and it's not good concentrating the on the game. It's a little bit of a gray area. <laughs> we have the Akaren underneath, but three German are on her trying to get the ball, but Dong being successful in the next. Akaren women got the ball and is it's coming. It's from incredible the with the, the speed Akaren is attacking now the Langen basket, and uh, we don't see a change uh, from the first half here. Uh, Ak Lon Lon Langen is under constant pressure on their own basket, and Akaren even uh, put up the space they are attacking here. Um, this this is not a good situation. Now a chance to break free. Uh, and Langen player and uh, this is what broke I mean. through with the ball. There was supposed to be one in front, not at the back. Because otherwise, this is what happened. I mean, yeah, Karen and we have a counter attack. Have this is a one on one situation. Don't you think this is a bit of a. No, 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 before. Before, no, it's okay. I don't know. I'm just. I don't want to have a penalty against. Das war ein großes, uh, große Gefahr gerade für Langen uh, auf dem eigenen Tor. Uh, 
die langen Spielerin hat es zwar geschafft, mit dem Ball wegzuschwimmen, er hatte dann aber keine Anspielstation nach vorne, äh, hat den Ball, den Ball gegen wieder verloren und es kam ein Konterattack, es war fast eine 1 zu 1 Situation, super gefährlich. Ähm, das ist genau das, was Karin herausfordern will, dieses Auseinanderziehen, Verwirrung stiften und dann in die Lücken reinzugehen. That's another fault for, uh, another Here we go, Langen is coming. This is the chance for Langen going for the basket of Karin. And uh, this could be, uh, wait, no, it took too long. Sorry, uh, very well done, but it, was it took too long. It was a great contract because, again, the, the Norwegian girl missed the pass from the, it was a blind pass again. And it was not there, so the German uh, player was really attentive and got the ball and started counter attack. It was great, but um, they were in two position. And now, l look, I mean, um, you can see, for me, in the body language of the players, the current look a little bit more calm somehow, and I see the Germans a little bit more tension somehow, a little bit more under stress that what we see from from norway you know what i yeah, mean yeah well akarin is controlling the game know, whatever long it does zero, uh, zero, they I they mean. don't they they don't let them do it uh, very long the only thing uh, we see uh, uh, this is a chance for uh, akarin uh, uh, to score uh, whatever uh, uh, Langen wants to do is not they are not able to do it because the current is controlling the situation and uh, is forcing Langen into the defense it's amazing how fast and it's coming onto the goalkeeper yeah, going again, above again, but again, the next again. current play there's one another, uh, underneath the goalie and that for a little that second was close. Was we see a lot of uh, uh, Stian said it in the um, in the live chat we see a lot of shoulders now in the basket um, because that's also one effect of the constant pressure we have. You you try to be safe on the on the goal, and you have to be careful because the the referees are watching closely. And if you you, you the everyone does tending to to have a safer position on the goal if you are under pressure. And uh, I hope the Langen girls uh, correct this. Uh, we see the shoulders. Now we have now another attack behind the goal. That was an attack the from the open side. Uh, the ball was lost, and then the next one. How many waves have you count? Ten? The twenty. 11, uh, I don't know. It's, it's amazing. Um, yeah, like uh, Peter Bosman says. Again, they have the ball, and to the next one, and to the next one, and they are like coming from right, left, from above. I mean, that's non-stop of blue players, and Langen is just reacting, constantly reacting, and it this it is dangerous. I, I have more and more uh, appreciation for the defense of Langen. They can hold out so long, yeah. but they have to go out. They have to, have to, have to, have to, because how good they are. This 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 is not gonna last for the next ten minutes, and here we go. This is a chance. One player totally free, going for a counter attack for the uh, Karen basket. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Is Laura, this is the captain, but probably she's exhausted already. And now we have the Norwegian already arrived, and they're into position. And, and Langen now has to dig in around the. Uh, the, the basket of uh, Karen and prevent them from coming back to their basket. But they, the, the, Akar, the, the, the Langen player surely are exhausted from this constant defending. And again, uh, we see uh, Akaren going for checking and Akaren conquered the ball and we're already on the way to the Langen basket. Um, das war gerade ein sehr schöner Versuch von uh, der Kapitänin von Langen. Und jetzt haben wir eine 1 zu 1 Situation am Langen Tor. Eine Spielerin von Akaren geht rein und es ist, es ist, nicht, es ist der Ball war nicht unter dem Ring. The ball, was not, the ball was not under the rim of the basket. But it was the almost inside, but it was a centimeter. It was a centimeter in the basket of Langen. And now we have the situation I, uh, I told, uh, I, I was uh, talking about the whole time with the, the, the situation where the chaos uh, is, is getting into the defense. But Langen broke free and they need this need this now to, to open up their game because they are crumbling in the defense and this was really close the the ball was almost under the rim uh, but I see I mean it looks like the uh, German players are tired look they cannot they they come very slowly toward the, the they're lacking a little bit of power it's like they try to catch the air now they have the ball they need to control and uh, maybe take time before they uh, start uh, attacking because it's really exhausting to keep the Langen, uh, the um, uh, Norwegians uh, away. Uh. 
What is interesting? Really what is interesting? The referees uh, don't head. interfere much, and uh, uh, even though we see some uh, fault play, the referees let the uh, game play out, and this gives this game a very f uh, a fine dynamic. And both teams are constantly playing now for um, um, eight minutes, and it was uh, mostly uh, at the side of uh, Langen. Jetzt ist Langen endlich mal äh, mit ein bisschen Ruhe am äh, Akarenkorb in der Nähe, in der Ecke, an der Wand, in Sicherheit. Und genauso soll es sein, langsam ein Spiel aufbauen, reingehen mit genug Spielern. Jetzt ist eine Chance, eine lange Spielerin liegt unter der äh, Torfrau von äh, Akaren. Hier ist ein Wechsel, das wäre eine Möglichkeit reinzugehen. Lange Spielerin kommt von oben, versucht sich oben reinzuwühlen, ist aber in den Beinen, in den Knien äh, von der Karen Spielerin. Jetzt die Torwartin ist weggezogen worden. Ich sehe den Ball gar nicht. Ball geht runter. Eine lange Spielerin versucht von oben. Er spielt, äh, bewegt sich mitten in die Hände von der Akarin Spielerin. This is really a thriller This of a game. This is going to be dangerous if uh, now uh, the Germans need to re return uh, what is outside. Oh, outside. Okay, ball outside. outside. Then that's the that first call like for a, a long time from a the referees. A counter attack. Six minutes left of this uh, Krimi. Wow, thriller, thriller, thriller no, night. Okay, no, time out, and I believe this is a time out uh, <coughs> for Blue. Did we hear that? Well, you see... Um, seven, seven, okay. Well, the on this time... Um, sorry. They have two. They play two times, 15 minutes in the final, and they have one time out per half a time. Uh, the teams. Um, it's not it's the difference is before they were playing two times, 10 minutes. It's always effective time, and they had just once the possibility of time out. Now this time they can have it once every half time. And let's see. Um, Wow, I, I feel uh, if they well go I into penalties, if they go into penalties, both both teams are very experienced and holding and throwing. So this, yes. I have no idea who can no, win. No, no idea. Are. That no could idea. go on for a long time. That could be decided by like uh, after the first throws. Wow, this is really a thriller, and we're not finished yet. No. After this, we will have uh, the the game uh, of uh, Riksu against Flipper. This will be another thriller for sure. Okay, free throw for the uh, German team. And now we have here uh, trying to attack that in the middle, going to the other side. We have two players underneath. The uh, goalkeeper didn't, had, didn't know for a second there where the ball was. And uh, now we have the uh, four checkers trying to recover the ball, but Germany is still in possession of the ball. Now that coming onto the goal, you have two Norwegians defending. Um, they have to be in control and keep moving from right to left. We have under the goalie, but the defender intercept that pass. Um, we have, uh, I cannot see, we, ha we have of the I mean blue and white under the goalie of the but Norwegian this is what we want from Langen exactly. this is what this we is need from Langen they go in with everything they have and they cause mayhem in the uh, Akaran defense and this means something because Akaran is cool in defending but this was a, a, a moment we saw a sequence where there was really a lot of uh, um, Langen player uh, Intermixed chaos with and, uh, and with uh, Karen, and that would be her chance. But you see how difficult it is to break through and go in. Now one Langen player tried to pull the goalkeeper from the goal, but she's tackled away to the surface. And we have one of the Langer players trying. And there's a counter attack, and this is going to be dangerous. Oh, then the, the next Norwegian uh, was it took too long, and the German, I mean Laura, recovered uh, the the ball, and we have the Norwegian and on the next German player recover. They are great in getting the ball. I mean, there's there's amazing. We have to say, they are very very good and recovering the ball when they lose it. And they did a blind pass, and there we have the Norwegian trying now to get some structure in their attack again, and um, Germany being a little bit more aggressive, but still. Um, having trouble to stop this moving around of the of the ball in front of their basket. 
Now the Norwegians are taking their time. They're coming from the close corner. They come, they attack now. They're going to the goalie, pass it down to one of the players that was lying uh, underneath. And uh, now the Norwegian is going out and trying to pass it, pass it blind to the close corner. And the next Norwegian hold it. We have the defender waiting for the attack but uh, coming from above and now trying to go through the defense, pass it to the other side, and now we have the next um, German girl attacking the uh, Norwegian with the ball, and, uh, and next two under the goalie. The goalie is on her own. The shoulder is inside, but uh, one of the uh, Germans uh, is protecting, uh, holding the ball, and they are now in the surface fighting. Uh, <laughs> ah, we have Jörg here in the live stream. Jörg, I miss you. Come on, give me everything. So, uh, yeah, Jörg, that was a cool attack, but that was not enough. Akaran was uh, controlling the game too much, and we have only three minutes left. From uh, what we saw, this is going to be uh, even uh, faster now, and the pressure, Akaran will rise on the Langen basket, will, will uh, become more and more. Here we go. Uh, Akaran is going in with a lot of strength. We, have we see four, girls four of Akarin 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 on the Langen basket. It's a uh, lot of holding of the ball, but the Akaran always recover, and then they have a block in the uh, defense and we have the Akaren next on the, on, the, on the neck of the goalie but now was pulled above the next Akaren is pulling the goalkeeper from the uh, waist and, and now the goalie uh, the next goalie recovering just got into position now they're fighting for the ball, ball. Norway, Norway is uh, let's see there was a call from the referee I can't see that. Okay, it was a free throw for uh, Norway, or yeah, apparently. Now they're coming. Oh, the ball was intercepted. One of the longer players, and uh, the Norwegians went to the next player that got it. And uh, Langen is having so much trouble to get out of their half. Um, the Norwegians are so good on recovering the ball. We have to say that uh, Langen has really problem to uh, be out of their area. Even if now they're in possession of the ball, they don't get enough power to go out. The Norwegians fell one and another time and constantly on the uh, player that is on ball possession. One minute 40 left uh, in this game. And we are going to penalties, I think. It looks like both teams uh, uh, will play safe now because uh, uh, they don't want to give a, the, the risk. They will try to score, but... Uh, this moving camera is crazy. Akane, I'm going. coming, counter-attack. I mean, uh, passing again. One minute, ten left. Langen in defense again. Corner last minute they're going to come with everything they have and ball still in the uh, hands have Norwegian the hands the whole game. we have the next longer attacker under the goalie waiting for the ball to come and they're trying to come always over the close corner uh, let's see Norway is still in position of the ball. Well, okay, now Germany just recovered the ball and trying to start a counter attack, but they have three Norwegians falling on top of the players of Germany seconds. and recovering the ball. 30 seconds left. Next Norwegian player coming. Okay, three probably the Germans last attack defending. we see. The last Th chance for a counter score. The, goalie, the next one. And it's a constant seconds. fighting of the ball, but. Uh, I'm getting a heart attack here. It's five, six, last attack. That's a chance for Karen. It's on the Two goal. seconds, that's it. End of the second half, and now we go to penalty. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen watching this uh, on the live stream, we have 377 people watching this, and uh, I guess you're uh, as exhausted as I am. Um, and me and Lorena watching this is just uh, wow. 
Yes. Uh, it, it, it. So it's really killing to watch this game because for Langen it's exhausting. They did a great job in keeping a, a team like a Karen uh, away this long. But we saw two chances of a Karen. The ball was inside the basket, but not totally inside and uh, just on the end of the first half uh, the ball was inside but there was a call from the referee before so uh, Akarin had two chances didn't uh, uh, didn't make it totally but uh, let me say uh, this game belonged to Akarin no one scored so everything is open we see penalty shooting now Yes, uh, Jörg, I agree with you. Because you're not here, I can agree with you. If you would be here, I would contradict you. But I agree, uh, now it becomes a mental game. And uh, what we've seen from a current, they are uh, totally able to play the mental game. They are really strong mentally. They keep their cool. Let's uh, see how uh, uh, Langen does in this uh, situation. Both teams think I uh, think are equal experience. And here we go, the first attack comes from McCarran. Lauda from McCarran and, and Germany is defending the basket. Laura is very good. Laura is off the basket. And she throw the ball on the rim. The current player threw the ball on the rim. The uh, goalkeeper from Germany was away. There was the chance for a current to score in this place. And they go up. The German Goalkeeper They're owns still the, ball. For the ball. The, uh, uh, the goalkeeper needs to show the, b the ball above the water. No, it does not work. What happened? Let's see. Not counting. No counting because the German was not in fully control of the ball, probably. And they, she needs to be in fully control of the but ball. But they, they don't, no, they don't repeat, so it was. Gilt uh, nicht. Um, uh, also it would uh, 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 als nicht, uh, oh, I can't even think. Jörg, help me, where are you? Okay, we see the attack from the current player. Wow. I miss it, what happened? Uh, Karen uh, got hold of the ball, the, the, the goalkeeper got hold of the ball, she went up to the surface. We see it here, normal. We're not hundred percent sure. We have no sound. Ah, uh, here we go again. Uh, a car on this back. Uh, there was a re there's a replay. Why? A car in play in uh, back on the in, in defending mode. I don't know. I haven't seen it. The German player goes up again. It's uh, 23 seconds left. Enough time. She goes down again. The current okay. player has the ball. For a second control. time. A second time. The current player. We cannot hear, can we hear? What no, we have oh no sound shit. from the referees right now. They probably switched off uh, the microphone. So sorry, we cannot. But uh, I, don't I guess I that's I it. Jorge, like, who was the one that uh, just uh, tried to do the... No, that we, we go again. Uh, sorry, we, we lost track. We cannot hear what the referees are saying, so we are in blind here. So uh, we have a repeat. Akaren is still attacking. If someone can go and check why we cannot no, hear what uh, the referee is there himself. Oh. Okay, Akaren is attacking uh, the German basket penalty. The number seven is Kati Franke, if I'm right with this. Uh, mm. And he's going down, uh, trying to be in front of the basket, and puts it in <laughs> behind the German player. Probably it's three, th three. It's not a. Oh, okay. This I am. Um, I thought it was one, one. Okay, maybe three because it's the final. This sorry, I am. Um yeah, it's three, three. I guess. Sorry, so didn't I know. Let's let me look in the reglament. But I think right now, I mean, um, yeah, Haran is in advantage. 
this is we saw we, s we almost see uh, all the players going up to the surface this again but she has 20 seconds 29 seconds oh okay Katia score this time great job wow this is a thriller This is really uh, uh, the, 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 the so uh, I lost counting. Uh, I lost track because I was a little bit uh, distracted. And uh, we, and we, no, we couldn't hear what they. No, now we have sound. Thank you. Let's see. Sorry, we missed uh, the repetition. We missed what happened. And uh, again, I mean one. A and one. attacking, and uh, long and defending. Karen is behind the head uh, of the goalkeeper and uh, behind the back. But uh, very well done by the goalkeeper to go back it on the basket I to be safe. Ria. And she got it. The German player got the ball. She has it safe and it's on the surface. Very great well job done. There was the ball. Wow, there was really a great job by the uh, German uh, attacker. Uh, perfectly executed. They had uh, so at least three dangerous one, yeah. moments uh, when every uh, other uh, goalkeeper would have uh, uh, failed. But that was... That was amazing. Both teams are, like we said, uh, really great in the uh, executing and holding so uh, we are now penalties. I believe she has to hold it, right? No. Now yeah. I, um, but no, because blue starts. Yeah, exactly. If she if she doesn't hold it, then uh, um, Langen wins, I believe, right? I Is think so. Right? Uh, we're not commenting because yeah, that, that's, it's in the basket. She got two minutes, but they, they got scored. Okay, she, she, it's okay. That's it. So 2-1 for Langen. Langen wins this Champions Cup. Uh, this is where luck also um, plays a role because um, Akaren really played a better game. They were 80% on position of the ball, but then uh, we have the penalties and the penalties is a mental thing, is a lucky thing, is uh, so much involved in this. Congratulations and, uh, to both teams. Congratulations to the winner of Female Champions Cup uh, 2017 here in Berlin. Uh, the team from Langen, Germany did win uh, and uh, ca they can themselves call the best uh, female club in Antwerp yeah, rugby in the world for one uh, year. Die offene Rechnung von Deutschland gegenüber die Norwegen im von der EM um, wird ein bisschen ausgeglichen, yeah, lassen wir so sagen. Aber muss man auch schon sagen, Langen. Akaren hat sehr sehr gut gespielt, hatte 80 Prozent oder so. so war congratulations und, to uh, Akaren too. It was an amazing uh, game, einfach. and like Lorena just said. Uh, um, Karen controlled uh, the, the two halves of the game, but uh, when there is penalty throwing, uh, there is also a little bit of luck involved. Uh, but those both teams are in such a high level. Um, it, it was was really amazing what Karen did there, and uh, I can only repeat uh, the 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 style Karen plays was spotless and uh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, congratulations to Langen and congratulations to Norway champion, for their uh, well earned second place. I mean, this team have been playing between the uh, first and second best in the world since the last years. Uh, don't, don't forget Germany is world champion and Nor Norway is up uh, is in second place and the European Championship was the other way around. Norway was first, Germany was one second. Minute, so this is the best rugby you'll ever see. So it's, it's great to have this tournament uh, uh, in Berlin, the Champions Cup that give us every year the possibility to play internationally, to see amazing rugby from all, all over the world. And to have fun. Thanks a lot uh, for all the games uh, Karen and Langen played in this uh, Champions Cup and all the other women teams. It's amazing.